people of God. We're about to bring you testimonies of what God did for people like you. I beg of you, don't run. Don't be in a hurry to say the prayers are done. Let me take. No. Please, by all means, watch these testimonies. Watch these testimonies. They will build your faith for this new season that God has brought you to. I know you're waiting for this time. I'm also waiting. I love to hear what God is doing. Now, I believe there are people looking at me right now. God has given you amazing testimonies. Why are you keeping back your testimonies? Use this weekend. Send in those beautiful testimonies of what the Lord has done for you through the altar of fire. Send it into this number 08055 I repeat 08055 8653. And if you're sending from out of Nigeria, be cautious. So add the code plus 2348055818653. If you're ready like I'm ready right now, we are going to bring you amazing testimonies of what Jesus did for people like you and I. Take a look. Ah, taking so many too much medicine. Taking too much medicine. These are part of them, they not that uh, these are the medicine. These are part of the medicine. The ones in the bottom. You are still inside. You will once you were inside, which I have taken because of this measure. What God cannot do does, does not exist. exist. My name is Ngozi Chuku Okudere Omoha. And I'm Okudere Omoha. Speaking from Lagos. This is only one year. February last year, I was down in sickness. And my daughter gave me a link. And then I started praying with her baby. Then, since that time, I visited three hospitals. But what happened? Each hospital I visited, they will tell me that I'm suffering from life for And they have been treating it to no avail. Up to this year, this January, when I was very, very down, I don't know what to do, I decided to go to do a test. And reaching there, my cholesterol was 282. BP 209. Then blood fasting sugar, 268. Then I started taking it. But before we know it, I was down. Nothing was about it. The next day in the hospital, the BP, the fasting sugar, was 444. Even the pharmacist who came to do the test was asking them who brought this man here. And he was told that this man came alone on his own to the hospital. He couldn't believe it. After five days in the hospital, I was discharged. And at home, the sugar did not come down. That time, doctor had to tell me what I eat and what I not eat. Ah! See me now. But, by the grace of God, after everything, on the Sunday, the last Sunday of January, my daughter called and sent to us where Pastor Jerry made mention of my case. He said, every person with it, high blood pressure and diabetes. Even if it's come from the blood or our lineage, that God is revising it right there. Diabetes and hypertension, even the one that runs in families, Akuna, the Lord said, I am terminating it. I am terminating it. I am terminating it. Right now, right now. I need to eat. I need to pray with it. Then, I'm too scared decided to go for the check. Before leaving for the check, I prayed and told God, if you would have made this my blood sugar to come down from that place it was to 120 or 100 that I would testify before NSBPD, PPD house. And then after the prayer, I went for the test. When the test came out, behold, it was 78. I couldn't shout. I don't know what to do. The whole nurses were very happy for me. The doctor, they were all happy for me. But within me, joy overwhelmed me. Happiness all over me. Then I came back home. I got the case of my wife, all the family. And they are happy for me. In fact, what God has done, I don't know. So since that Tuesday, I said I have to wait and go for another test in another hospital. Which I went. This is my test. This is the very first one. 78. The very first one. 78. This is the second one. It was 74. 74. See? So this is it. Taking so many, too much medicine. Taking too much medicine. These are part of them, not that uh, these are the medicines. These are part of the medicine. The ones in the bottom, you are still inside. You will once you were inside, which I have taken because of this 
Lushman, and the other guys, and the other siblings. But today, God has been here. Again, we thank this uh, our great pastor, the great pastor of this generation, Pastor Jerry Eze, and all the pastors the around me, the crew. and the crew members, and the other MSPP day. Comedians have always said, Amen. When you pray, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. May this year oil on your head never run dry. My name is Solomon Odechukwu. I live in Essex in UK. I've come to give this great testimony of how God has completely healed me from this bad, bad, bad ill health. It started last December when I woke up. I could not come out of bed. I could not stand with this pain. Very excruciating. I have to call the ambulance. Before they could arrive, my wife, I said, no, we have to go to the hospital, we don't wait for them. On arrival at the hospital, they took me in straight. And two more doctors were there. They did all they did, all the examination. Then they said that she would do the MRI test. After the MRI test, they had to keep me for two days to observe me and also to wait the result. On the second day, they said they found a growth in my spine that was pinching my cord, causing the excruciating pain and the electric shock. They gave me a Zuma's frame and walking sticks to go home to monitor it for a while. Said that the only treatment I need is surgery, complete surgery. As I was praying every day, praying with the link, as I did mention my case. Grow in your spine, grow in your spine. If you are the one putting on the lashes, let it be reversed, let it be reversed. The next morning, I couldn't believe it that I woke up with no pain. It's passed by the tons of painkillers, all sorts from America, from Germany, trains we are sending. The pen just dropped. And when I went for, back for the second MRI, the growth in my spine disappeared completely. Pastor Jerry, you are God sent. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Amaka Ebede. I'm making this video from Lagos, Nigeria. Sometime 1997, I had health issue that doctor prescribed uh, medication for me, which I reacted to, and the, and it caused a very massive wound on my leg. For the past 19 years, I've been treating the wound. But thank God for my roommate that introduced me to NSPPD, October 2020. And this is the best thing that has ever happened to me, coming in contact with NSPPD. Anytime the pathogen will mention, open will seal up. Don't say at the Lord. Every open wound is sealing up. It's sealing up. I don't care how long it's been there. The Lord says, every open wound, let them seal up. Let them seal up. I always claim it. Believing God that one day God will remember me for good. And I really thank God that today I'm that lady that God has showed mercy. That today wound is something of past in my life. The wound has sealed up and I give God all the glory. Thank you Pastor Jerry for standing in the gap for us. For teaching us what it means to pray. We they pray, it they show. To God be all the glory. What God cannot do does not easy. My name is Agnes Fakoya. I'm making this testimony from Manchester in United Kingdom. I was married since 2005 and since then I've been looking for the foot of the womb. So the first IVF I did was not successful at the early stage while I went for the second one. The second IVF was successful but when the pregnancy got to 24 weeks the heartbeat of the baby stopped and I lost the baby and uh, this actually broke me down. I felt so disappointed, you know, and then uh, the fact it's the fact yeah, I would say I've actually lost my faith because I wasn't interested in praying again, you know, and uh, a friend of mine in my office at my place of work called Rita, then he said to me she was going to send a prayer link to me that do I know Pastor Jerry is 
I said, no, I don't know Pastor Jerry. Yeah, she said that she's a Nigerian pastor. She's a Ghanaian. She expected that I should know him. So I said, no, that I don't know him. That anyway, he can, she can send the link. So I, that was how I started joining the prayer altar at 7 o'clock every day. I will not only join the prayer, I will listen to the testimonies, you know, and I also part they participate in the Holy Communion as well. So anytime Pastor Jerry prays for people looking for the foot of the woman, he will say that women in their 40, 50s receive their babies. I don't know what God is saying. I'm giving babies to women in their 40s and 50s. Women in their 40s and 50s. Women in their 40s and 50s. You know, I was shouting very big amen as if my life depended on this. You know, and when he said we should also they, they look for pictures of what we want God to do for us, I downloaded a picture of twin babies. You know, in, it was in my phone. Anytime he said we should bring out the pictures, I'll bring out the picture from my phone, you know, for prayers. February 2023, positive pregnancy was confirmed. And the, the, when, the, when I had my first scan, there were two in the sack and the two babies continued growing. I was really, really surprised. God took control of everything. Nothing went wrong. So these are the babies, twin girls. Their names are Oreoluwa and Jesu Tofumi, Mary and Elizabeth. Thank God. I want to appreciate uh, the life of Pastor Jerry for the sacrifice you are making every day to come to this platform to pray for people. The Almighty God will continue to shield you and your family from every form of evil in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Williams Kamaya. I am testifying from Sierra Leone. In 2022, I was diagnosed of breast cancer. I went to the hospital, they took a estimate for my breast. They tested it, it was positive. I have cancer on the lung. So the doctor advised me to cut my breast. But my family members did not allow me to say we are going to pray. After some months, they removed the lung, they tested it again. It was positive. So at that time, my breast started to swell, the nipple started to go inside and the skin changed color. It has this orange type of skin and it was paining me. I was not sleeping for continuous three months. I was not sleeping. I was in pain. I was in pain. So I went to a lady. She told me about this link and Pastor Jerry, this link. So I started in 2023. I started praying with uh, Pastor Jerry. I started praying. I started praying. So one day, Pastor Jerry said that any evil report, every bad report, you should come with it outside. You should tear it. You step on it. So that is the time I you know, I come out my report. I started praying. Then I tear it. I put it on the floor. I step on it. The evil report, the negative report, because always the report was in my purse. That, that is the time I tear my result. So we started praying and praying and praying. But the way I used to feel before the pain, it stopped. I started sleeping. So one day, Pastor Jay said, He whose words are yea and amen. He says, I'm showing mercy to everyone with breast cancer. Abba the Lord is showing mercy on people with breast cancer. So on Monday, the 5th of February 2020, 2024, so I decided again to go and do another test. With weight guys, the weight guys they come from Spain. I went to McKinney to go and do the test. Behold, he tested me. The test showed negative, and I asked the doctor. I said, Doctor, what do you mean? He said they did not see anything. And Pastor Jerry used that what they used to see before, they will not see it again. That was what happened. So I fell down on the floor. I started crying and singing, crying and singing, crying and singing. So indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. This is my result. I am cancer free. It shows no cancer. Now my breast is okay. I am sleeping. At first I was not sleeping. Pain, I used to champ pain. No medicine can stop the pain. Pastor Jerry, I thank you for answer to this call, this great call. My name is Lori 
and I'm going to start off with what God cannot do does not exist. I am a living witness of it. Um, God put the super on my natural. He's given me supernatural healing. This is a really hard video for me because in 2012 I was diagnosed with cervical cancer and I had a few surgeries. We, the, the doc, doctors did a partial hysterectomy. 2021 ovarian cancer showed up. My sister's a nurse practitioner. She said, Lori, ovarian cancer normally shows up in older women. It shows up, then it spreads, and then you die. Your ovarian cancer was trapped in a ball. It was trapped on the last ovary that you had in a ball. The tumor grew to the size of a cantaloupe. In 2023, that was a maintenance medicine. Um, for the next 27 months. In 2023, my side was hurting. I started having nausea. I started um, extreme weight loss. I went from like 155 to like now I'm 138. In a matter of months, I was throwing up. I had migraines. Um, and so my doctor did a PET scan and she thought she saw a tumor on my left pelvic. And so she's like, okay, well, we'll do surgery in the next three to four weeks. Well, that was the holiday season. So they called me and said okay we're gonna have surgery on December 26 at 5 30 in the morning my surgery was scheduled December 26 5 30 a.m. the day after Christmas when she went in she was going in with the da Vinci which is a robotic uh, it was it's not as invasive and she found out that she could not find the tumor so she had to do an emergency open abdominal surgery and ended up being a seven hour surgery to find out that the tumor was not on um, the pelvic but the tumor was on my bowel now the medication that I was on could cause a vast and could cause bowel, bowel preparation meaning that my bowel could have burst and I could have gone septic so my sister's like this is warfare this is warfare how does a tumor grow on your bowel? So they took out 12 inches of the bowel, resectioned the bowel, reconnected it with prayers that the bowel would work. Pastor Easy called out everything related to my case. Ovarian cancer. The Lord is only the ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer. Cervical cancer. Cervical cancer. Cervical cancer. The Lord is rolling it away. Bowel cancer. You will not see that. Everything related to everything that I have gone through. Now, mind you, I just started. I just ran across Pastor Easy June of 2023. By default, I flew home from a concert in Nashville to get to Pastor Hannah's 12 hour prayer. And I said, Who's this loud guy that just get on the stage, got on the stage, and took off? A Somebody turn the fire. Can you turn the fire? You shout it again, fire! Susan said that's Pastor Easy from Abuja, and he's gonna get on a plane and fly home because he does about four services. I said I need to see him again. I need to see him again. Not knowing that I was gonna have this diagnosis in August. I met Pastor Easy. I didn't meet him, but I felt him pray at Pastor Hannah's church. June 2023. I knew God knew I needed him. August of 2023. He knew I needed this healing and I was gonna have surgery December of 23. So what God cannot do does not exist. I will close with here is everything that's highlighted. Maybe you can um, get a little closer on it, but it's I highlighted negative for carcinoma. Negative, negative, negative. These were the test results. These were these were the end results after the surgery. God bless you all and um what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. And it's the video celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God. Celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God. Somebody give the Lord a loud shout. What our God cannot do, what our God cannot turn around, what our God cannot make happen. I don't care how many of the afflictions that the enemy have raised against you, but if your amen will turn the louder, you will look for them and you will not find them again. Somebody help me shall say negative. Negative. Shall negative. Negative. Shall negative. Negative. Shall negative. 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 It will be your prophecy in the name of Jesus. 
you will look for those things, all you are going to be seeing is negative, yes, negative, Amen. negative, negative. Amen. For what Amen. our God cannot do. Does not assist. It's amazing how God works, yes, sir. especially from the last testifier. And, 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 and people of God, I, I, she probably may not have known about NSPPD. Yes, so she goes for a program that I went to minister in the U.S. Um, that, that should be um, in Chicago. I might, I, that program should have been in Chicago or something. So I went to minister. That was last year. Yes, That's the 12-hour prayer program that I went to minister at Pastor John Hannah's church, you know, and all of that. And then obviously she said, as soon as I said, so who is this loud oh. guy? Who who is this loud guy people of god you see this our loud this is, is this our loud? Yeah, it, it, we, we are louding out this people of god we are and she said who is this loud guy and all that i want to see people of god the rest is history people of god that's how she got connected and all of that and god look at all the reports cervical cancer gone ovarian cancer gone bowel cancer gone people of god the devil is a liar He's a liar. liar oh. Even you that hey. is looking at me right now, yes, you are sir. going to look at everything liar, that liar, the enemy liar, has raised liar, against liar, you. Liar, and liar. all you will say is that all of them are God. Liar. Amen. <laughs> People of God, what our God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. You see, um, thank God she's sensitive. You know, there, 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 there are seasons where you just know. <laughs> if the devil makes the shame loud, my voice will be louder. Amen. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. If the devil decides to put the sickness and and then you're like, you know, it's not a uh, the devil you wanna go. But, 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 but. By the time we we we, we shout them, shout that oh, yeah, now somebody help me shout fire. Fire and people of God, it was obvious for the penultimate testifier, this was breast cancer. Breast cancer that was already gone, that had gone bad, her nipple had everything, the breast had changed color, everything. Yet by the word of the Lord, yet by the word of the Lord, do not reverse the negativity. What our God cannot do does not exist. People of God, 18 years, 18 years after failed IVFs. 18 years she said she lost hope in god she lost hope in everything and then she said her Ghanaian friend sent her the link today we're celebrating twin babies twin babies after 18 years there is always a happy ever after with jesus and people of god open wound of 19 years hey, the way they, they the way these things are dropping on the altar open wound of 19 years what our god cannot do does not exist people of god growth in the spine people of god growth in the spine confirmed by the first mri they did here the word of the lord came and then he went back again to check for the growth in the spine the growth in the spine disappeared people of god totally gone this god this god this god this thank god you, jesus. this error thank you jesus. this error thank this you, god jesus. has not left us on the altar without a witness hey people of god look at the Whoa. diabetes that was reversed look at as soon as they reeled out all those drugs and they're showing us look i drank this one that he said some, some, some of them not all of them not all of them just some of them <laughs> people of God this our God this our God Thank help me Jesus. NSPP dear if you know Jesus. that you are excited Thank about Jesus. the God of this altar Thank help me you wave Jesus. your hands to the doer of this miracle Thank you, Jesus. wave your hands to the God that we serve Thank you, Jesus. wave your hands to this God Thank you, Jesus. to God be all the glory Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and if you're ready with your communion we are ready right now we pray over every liquid you have it ceases to be ordinary it becomes the very blood of Jesus Amen. we pray over every substance you have it ceases to be ordinary it becomes the flesh of Jesus Amen. and our first communion is a communion that says it is done Amen. eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of the blood of the new covenant and people of God our second communion is a communion that says earlier than expected. Amen. Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. And our last communion is communion of answers. Would you get on your knees wherever you are and begin to ask the Lord for three things that you desire of him? 
Elebe de Bekoto la Barabasika ta la Barishada Borokoto Balia. Ezende beada bakoshapati de be rokoto baliada. Esekete beada balabashada balabaraba kasibara. Elebiada, I decree it is done. Iman Eat of the flesh of Jesus. And drink of the blood of the new covenant. Amen and amen. amen. People of God, what a season to be alive, to witness the strange acts of God. Listen, I don't need to tell you anything. If you look at all that God has done, to still say, Lord, I don't want to be close to you, is a disservice to yourself. Jesus is winning. Amen. And Jesus people are winning all over. Yes, and if you want to receive Jesus in your life as your personal Lord and Savior, please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come into my life. my life. Come and be my Lord my and personal Savior. Personal Savior. Forgive, Forgive me my sins. sins. Cleanse me. Sanctify me. Sanctify and make me pure, pure and whole again. And whole again. Amen. Amen.